What celebrity death seems a bit too suspicious? Hi Nina. Oscar and Golden Globe winner for The Killing Fields. Cambodian and former prisoner of the Khmer Rouge. Tortured and imprisoned in Cambodia. Murdered outside his home in Los Angeles. His family thinks it was revenge from Cambodia for his outspoken support for human rights and bringing people to justice in Cambodia. Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones died under suspicious circumstances while swimming. The person he was swimming with a contractor working on his house who Jones had accused of stealing from him supposedly confessed on his deathbed to killing Jones. Jill Dando. She was a British TV presenter, newsreader, and journalist. She was shot on her front doorstep and it's never been solved. Also Dr. David Kelly, not exactly a celebrity, but he was a known public figure. He was a weapons expert that supposedly killed himself shortly after saying that the report on Iraq's nuclear weapons had been fudged. Dorothy Kilgallen, reporter and TV personality. Died under mysterious circumstances while investigating Kennedy's assassination. Ken Lay, former Enron CEO was declared deceased in Aspen with his family right before he was going to serve his sentence. Cremated and buried at an undisclosed location. Shri Devi. She's a Bollywood actress who died in Dubai from accidental drowning in a bathtub, the day after a wedding where she was in perfect health and she had a huge life insurance which would pay only if she dies in Dubai. Nicole Brown Simpson. From what I hear, her ex is still trying to find the real killer. George Reeves, the guy who played Superman in the 50s. There were a bunch of people in his house the night he died, and a lot of conflicting stories, also he was having an affair with a studio exec who was in attendance with his husband that night. Also forensics disagree with the testimony of the witnesses. It's all a clusterfuck. Dorothy Kilgallen. She was an investigative journalist and game show pain list on What's My Line. She was digging into JFK when she died of an overdose. Her manuscript on JFK was taken by the Govt and will never see the light of day. Shelley Miscavige, wife of Scientology leader David Miscavige. Disappeared 2013 after vocally coming out against the practices of Scientology. Lawyers for the cult I mean religion still maintain she is alive and living a private life devoted to Scientology. Right. You'll it would be nice if you include your reasons and not just post a name like we're supposed to know all about it. Elliot Smith. Arguing with his girlfriend and then when she goes to take a shower in the middle of their argument, he suddenly decides to stab himself twice in the chest with no hesitation wounds. And of course she pulled the knife out before calling 911. And I think I've read she has exhibited so weird behavior before and since. Not a murder or death and not really a celebrity but. Where is Shelley Miscavige? Marilyn Monroe's death. Didn't John McAfee get whack tattooed on himself or some shit just before he died? I may be wrong. Brittany Murphy for sure. Epstein. Natalie Wood. Yevgeny Prigozhin's flight crash. Gary Webb author of Dark Alliance, the explosive series of articles in the San Jose Mercury News in 1993, that exposed the CIA operation to finance the war in Nicaragua with cocaine money. Cheap cocaine flooded the streets of America and started the crack epidemic. His article was attacked by the mainstream press. He lost his career and reputation. He committed suicide in the early 2000s and was found to have two self-inflicted gunshot wounds. Dorothy Kilgallen's death has got to be one of the most suspicious. There are many who feel she was about to break the real story behind JFK's death, but then suddenly she was dead. Not a celebrity but a notable person Lee Harvey Oswald. Whitney Houston and her daughter. Whitney's autopsy shows that she had defensive wounds maybe it wouldn't be as suspicious if her daughter wasn't also found unresponsive, in a bathtub. Ivana Trump. On the eve of her non-disclosure agreement about her marriage, divorce, and what she knew about the Trump business set to expire. Why was her casket so heavy? 
I remember hearing about Michael Jackson saying people were following him not long before he died, but that could be due to mental health problems drug use. I firmly believe Martin Luther King was not killed by James Earl Ray. Some of the deaths in this thread were caused by $CINOOY. Edgar Allan Poe Andy Warhol's death was an incredible case of medical malpractice, and there's some evidence that the nurses who overloaded him with four fluids did it on purpose. Betty White The death of an immortal is always grounds for suspicion. Tupac and Biggie Smalls Jean Spangler She is assumed to be dead but has never been found. It was suspected that Kirk Douglas was involved in her disappearance. Ivana Trump It's suspicious that Gary Busey isn't dead. Gary Coleman Did his ex-wife push him down the stairs? I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure that O.J. Simpson killed his wife. Elliot Smith Ivana Trump Classic Columbo murder Older lady falls down her own stairs and we're supposed to believe it because she was old. Sam Cook. In reading the replies I see that people are biased and have ignored deaths that have been debunked, or simply don't want to hear that certain things are possible. No one is stabbing themselves twice even if there is evidence like Artie Lang who stabbed himself eight times, but lived. I love a good conspiracy but you gotta pull your head out of your ass once and a while. Is Karen Silkwood a celebrity? Elliot Smith. Suicide by stabbing himself twice in the heart. Kinda fishy. I would be very happy to find out Robin Williams is really playing Ms. Doubtfire permanently. Mr. J. H. Christ. Dies, then comes back then goes down to the gas station for some milk and never comes back. Sounds like a con. Corey Hyam. Never sat right. Brandon Lee. So many weird little things surrounding the way in which he was killed. As soon as Michael Jackson died, Sony inherited his music royalty catalogue, which includes the entire Beatles catalogue, which they released almost immediately after he died, and then they put out a Guitar Hero Beatles edition. Felt very suspicious. Heath Ledger's was a bit suspicious. Princess Diana Elliot Smith Natalie Wood Bob Crane